What up, what up, what up? Welcome, everybody, to Cheap Drinks and Cheat Codes, episode 12. Today, I'm joined by four people. Starting, we've got Justin. Hey. <laughs> we've got Josh, who is marked Phil, currently. Oh, Hi! No. <laughs> and What's then up, everybody? Phil has taken over my computer, apparently. He's <laughs> the third on the list. And then myself. I guess Discord decided to rename everybody today. Yeah, this, this oh, one's, uh switching us around into the organ. No, Do not right. worry. We're going to fix it live. That's cool. Mm-hmm. How's everybody doing this week? Good, good. Uh, How about yeah, you guys? We're chilling, we're chilling. I'm doing great. Doing well. uh, being essential still. Yeah, I'm just <sighs> glad I'm not in the rain. In the rain. To be completely honest with you. All right, Ooh. Assassin's Creed news dropped. Big news. Big news. If, you, if you like it or if you don't. So yesterday they had the live stream, uh, which has now been just completely forgotten because they dropped their trailer, release date, well, somewhat release date, um, and footage. So we're gonna Yo. pop that on first live. I've never seen it. Let's do Some it. of you have seen it. I just gotta make sure uh, it's not gonna blast everybody's headphones. Hit it. They ain't gonna blast me though. No. I hit play already. They are heartless. I don't care. If there's not a shield wall, I'm gonna be pissed. Godless barbarians. This is our in game footage. The big ass PlayStation 5 logo in the front. They murder and kill blindly. What is the soul of man? They scar the lands of England. Lands they will never defend. Never love. The time has come. To speak to them in a language they will understand.
I'm excited. So we, that looks, that looks so, good. First impressions. We're gonna we're gonna start with Justin. I think that looked really cool. I'm kind of excited. I did read a little bit that they're gonna have like a lot of like uh, traveling and pillaging and kind of stuff like that. Um, that looks really good. That honestly, maybe a day one purchase. Gotta wait to see like actual gameplay though, but that might mm. be a day one purchase. Okay, yeah, Josh. That shit was fire. Um, if you, I don't know if you guys watch, like, I fucks with, like, uh, Vikings Go on History Channel and shit like that. Like, so when mm-hmm. the crow popped up, I was like, oh, that's great. And I, I like that little, little homage they did there. But for me, I, I'm not a huge fan of the last two Assassin's Creed's. I like the other ones. So hopefully they did enough to change, because this is a different studio. This is, I think it's uh, Montreal. They're the one that did... Um, the French, uh, what was, was it? it? Unity. Unity was it? Unity? Unity. Yeah, they did yeah. Unity and they did three. I think. Don't quote me on that. But uh, I liked three. Mostly, there was a lot. There were some things I didn't like, but I, I, I hope it's a little bit less RPG based. Like I'm not a huge fan of. Um, you have to hit a guy for like eight, eighteen hits, and you're an assassin. But I love that trailer. Like, like Justin said, it doesn't show much gameplay. As the trailer goes, like I thought that dude was dust, and then he hit him with the the assassin, John. And I was like, oh shit. That's cool. So okay, Philly. Uh, I that was that was legit. It's I mean it's well done, but I mean it's probably just a CG video. Mm-hmm. But it looks great. Um, I yeah. Uh, what did I start watching recently? Not Vikings. It's the The Last Kingdom. Yes, started watching some of that. That's really cool, and I I think the Viking kind of stuff just a really interesting thing. Because there's no guns or stuff, and I mean, if I know with Odyssey, I didn't play it, but I've heard some stuff where they actually put like some supernatural stuff in it. Because they also did with uh, Origins at one point, because I played a lot of that. Um, if they do something with like Norse mythology on it, that'd be really cool to see. Uh, okay. The RPG stuff is a bit. Eh, this is it's. I actually didn't finish Origins because I got to a point where, like, the level, the mission I was on was like three levels higher than me, and it's just like you're gonna die because it is a whole like not assassinating anybody really, and I couldn't find any side missions to do to level up. I was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, so I just kind of fell off of that game. It, it feels forced. Like yeah. I, we brought this up before, like God of War. Love that game. I don't think the armor and the sh- all that needs to have levels. Yeah. It should just be your pairing skill. Not too much of your pairing skill, because then you don't want to be feel like souls um, as much, but it, I just, it feels forced, like the, le- the leveling of your weapons and stuff. The thing is, is with uh, God of War, I'm, I was okay with it, because I did a lot of like just exploring the area, because it's just beautifully like done, the game. Like Just looking at the environments is really cool. So I was able to like level up to where I wasn't impeding my progression. But in Origins, I got to a point where I literally, everything was just like, nope, you will die if you go any further. I had no idea how to progress past that. Yeah. Odyssey might be different. I'll probably pick it up now because you can get it pretty cheap on sales. It's like 10 bucks on Steam from time to time, 15. Yeah, so, and I'll pick that up. That's supposed to be really long because they do dive into the RPG a lot. So... But I do like the old, you know, Assassin's Creed up to like Unity and Syndicate where you were an assassin, you're hiding, then you're fighting. You can do the hand to hand combat, but you're meant to just, you know, sneak around. So hopefully that is a key and becomes even yeah. though it's Viking, so hmm. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. Pillaging yeah, I can't see you be too assassiny. But before Brandon talks real quick, yeah, just like you said, like that was one of my favorite things in Assassin's Creed. Like even walking up to a dude with no weapon. You're not even going to use your hand blades, and you just beat a dude up. You're just punching him, and that just felt awesome. So I, I hope they get back to that. But how you feel, Brandon? I got mixed feelings. I mean, because I don't really play, I don't really play single player games. But the last couple that I had played, like on my 360 and stuff like that, were the Assassin's Creed games. I yeah. feel like if I were coming back to the series, this feels extremely forced as far as like it being an assassin type thing because yeah. immediately i knew what was going to happen like in this this trailer 
for me, I've seen enough Vinland Saga and Vikings like to know exactly how the fights are going to go. I knew for like a fact he was going to throw a fucking axe at somebody like that had just stabbed somebody because that's like the most common trope type thing in a fight scene for Vikings. It's always like the like his friend dies. He's like, no, and he throws the axe all slow-mo type thing. But I felt like that ending kill was so forced. Because I didn't see it coming. I thought coming, he was going to really? get away. I thought he was going to get away, but I didn't think it was going to be the fucking blade. Well, as soon as yeah, I, was, I wasn't expecting a hidden blade to come yeah, out. I wasn't because they've gone yeah. away from that hidden blade the past two games. Like, I don't yeah. remember it in Origins. So the fact that it's back is, I think, is great because that feels Assassin's Creed. I don't know. I, f- I think maybe they should have done it and then shown the Raven and the old guy because. As soon as I saw the old guy, I knew what was going to happen. That was like my telltale that he was going to do it. And then maybe that's just because I haven't really followed the other parts of the series. Um, but I thought it was sick that they added like the that they were fighting the Roman um, type empire. So this, it's like it's uh, that's English. English. Is it English? English. Why is he? Yes. He, yeah. he literally has like a Roman type helmet on. They are in England. Yeah, the, that that guy, but, that that end guy, doesn't yeah. historically make any sense because yeah, I've that, watched enough shows to know that that it, that's literally they're fighting the Saxons, like the the early right. England. Yeah, like um, I'm yeah, following Wessex, it from uh, and, from Vinland Saga. No one in Vinland Saga yeah, is dressed like similar. that. So it's they like, do have armor. Yeah, but they don't but, have the, that little broom type shape on their helmet. Yeah, like no, that doesn't make yeah, any that's sense to me. Awful. That's why I thought I was putting the connection towards the last game. So I'm just not real sure. Um, I mean, maybe we all need to play the last game, and there might be something at you know the after credit scene that's gonna that was linking to. This. I'll Google it. Who knows? Um, <laughs> my, my I just replied to Under Siege real quick just to see what he's gonna say. Um, but I as the last thing I'll say on it, I almost think they should have gone two ways. Like Brandon said, you were an old school Assassin's Creed player. You played, and old school means you played like five of them almost because there were so many of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, these newer ones, they should have called it. It should have been a different IP. It yeah, should have exactly. been from the makers of Assassin's Perfect, Creed. Yeah. Um, from the makers of Assassin's Creed brings these historical genres, Just and it's literally the ex- it's the because ex- it's not Assassin's Creed. You're right. like Phil said, you don't have the hidden blade. I don't think that the Assassin, the Templars versus the I guess it was just the Assassins. Like I don't think that's a right. thing in these ones. So it should just be this. The last three were a complete separate game. I probably would have picked them up and enjoyed them more, and then they kept with the actual Assassin's Creed games. I didn't need, you don't need, Ezio's story was over. They, it was good. Like, they just didn't, they just don't make no damn sense. Yeah, they should have just they tagged it on to the, Creed. they should have just tagged it on to the For Honor series. If this was a For Honor title, like, just, just hear me out. Like, the one of the last characters that they added was a Viking. So if they'd have just done split-off games where it wasn't For Honor, but it was like, this is the world of For Honor versus the world of the Assassin's Creed. But I feel like they're just going to milk Assassin's Creed for all it's worth. Yeah. 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 Just the name recognition. I completely agree with that whole thing. Like, if if they would have called Origins, like, from, you know, the creators of Assassin's Creed bring you Origins, that's much better because when I was going into playing the game, I was like, yeah, I really feel like an Assassin's Creed game where I'm climbing walls, you know, jumping off and hidden blading yeah. people. Because that it's it's its own gameplay style. Like that is one thing that yeah. made Assassin's Creed so big. It's it's its own thing. And then I was playing a lot of it and just never got that feeling. And then at the time, I was like, I can't progress. Well, I haven't even felt Assassin's Creed at all during this playthrough. Mm-hmm. I'll just put it away and go do something else. Yeah, Justin let me borrow the one when you're in Egypt, and I played it for yeah, two hours. Oh, okay, I didn't, I couldn't remember the names. I played for like an hour or two. Just like you said, I was like, all right, I'm going to wait until I do something cool. No cool shit happened. I went, all right, Justin, you can have this back. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm, I'm rewatching the trailer that's on the screen or whatever. I'm pretty sure this dude that he fights in the very end is the only one wearing a helmet at that style. So it, he has to be something significant. Like, yeah. He has to be some sort of like mercenary from that time or something like that because he's yeah, he's the he's walking behind him. They just showed like a flash of him. He's walking behind him. He's the only one with a Roman style helmet with a full face shield and everything. Like obviously he's designed to be like the heavy. He's designed to be like the badass, the guy to mirror this dude. But that helmet is what's fucking with me and the cape. 
helmet in a cape. He's literally Capes wearing. Are stupid. He, you should not fight. You should not fight in a cape. Incredible. I love, I love them in, in <laughs> I love them in games, and I put them on all my characters and I make them seen. But capes are bad. People can grab them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I think. Um, hold on. I'm gonna while we're tying this process up. I'm gonna look up Odyssey. I was trying to do research, couldn't find anything. But all right, while we're doing that, are we, are we, are we on? Anything we want to talk about there? I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm excited for it. Uh, I can answer Under Siege's question. Cause Go ahead. Hit it, it's, but... Yeah. Uh, that's a, a good fill thing. Phil, hit it, baby. So, Crap yeah, if you have a capture card, depending on the kind, like I have uh, an Elgato HD, like just one of those, it does all of the encoding for you. My laptop is minimal, and depending on what's encoding through it, so like my PS4, just to stream, it only takes like 40 or 50% of my CPU, so it runs pretty well. My Retron 5, for some reason, the encoding requires more of my CPU, but it still works. So the capture card way, you can get away with less specs, but you the big thing is having um, good upload internet wise you need at least five megabits upload otherwise your video is going to not look too good cool hopefully that helps you there's, and if there's you no way that, there's no cool. way that dude in the trailer is not a roman has to be <laughs> well, with this they, fucking it, helmet it, they have other characters that are um i can't remember their names but like like again you got the saxons and then you have uh, like the people from wessick and then there's other people that do wear more armor that come into the series later on from uh, like Justin or like Phil said, the last kingdom. And I've watched Vikings. They, some of them do wear more armor. Just yeah. That dude was in like full gear. So yeah. I don't know. I mean, but, it, um, we did. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's just going to, it's going to come out later. What he is obviously like, cause people we're not oh. going to be the only people that notice that. Oh, right here. Look, <laughs> he's literally wearing this helmet from Odyssey. <laughs> it's an ancient <laughs> warrior. Guy, helmet. Right there. Awesome. Maybe, maybe he killed a Roman and took it from him. Mm. Yeah, fuck you, idiot. Mm, lore. Mm. <laughs> mm. All right, we did get some new hot news from Microsoft uh, this week, today, uh, in fact. Uh, so we will, this is the first uh, tech demo of the actual of gameplay we'll get in a Xbox stream in this the 7th, May the 7th. Uh, mm. I'm drunk. Uh, this the May the 7th. Yeah. This, this the May the 7th. <laughs> um, 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific. Uh, you will be able to watch it. Um, the one the caveat to this that I thought was interesting is it's going to be a globaling event uh, where they include next-gen gameplay, but it's only from their global developing partners. They were very adamant to put that in there, uh, in quotes. Uh, so basically, they, already, they also said no Xbox game studios are going to be uh, showcased. So no Halo, nothing that they've made directly. No Gears, like none of that shit. Uh, so again, well, Gears global developing partners. Game. So we'll see. I hope they still have something interesting. I hope they don't come out and be like, hey, these are all our indie games, and they should come out with like a Shovel Knight 2 or some shit. And I'm gonna be like, alright, you motherfuckers. <laughs> if all they show is like, well, no, they couldn't show Forza, that's their own company, but like some about, racing games or Senua? sports games. Mm. But if they show like, theory? yeah, if they show, um, like, this is the new Madden, and this is our new ra a new racing yeah. game, <laughs> I will literally just be like, you no. know Forza I mean, is going to be on there. I don't know why you're tripping. Oh, yeah. But it's their own studio. They said yeah, they're it's not their own, studio. own studio. I can respect Madden. Like, if I mean, they wouldn't, that's EA. But if they came out and had those graphics, I can at least tell, like, what, you know, the fuck, the graphically it looks and stuff. Um, but I still don't think... I'm excited to see gameplay. Uh, I don't think for another two or three years we're going to actually see an increase in graphics. I think this the big jump is going to be SSDs. Because, you know, we all have PCs. Uh, that are pretty powerful, so we're already used to SSDs and how quick games load. Like, I play The Witcher, and it's two seconds, and I'm playing the game. Uh, I remember playing The Witcher on my Xbox One, and that shit took a couple minutes to load in the beginning, you know? So I think that'll be the biggest yeah. change in consoles. I don't think graphics were going to be, like, blown away. I, they're going to look good. I think I think we're at a plateau when it comes to graphics. Until, until screens catch up to what gpus can produce i don't really see it being i don't really see that being the next step either it's gonna be i think 
we we've hit some good spots recently like some games still surprise me like when uncharted uncharted when last of us 2 had its one of its e3 releases um i remember i thought we were watching a cutscene. if you guys remember this video um mm. with, i think ellie's her name and then they panned out and like the hud popped up like the cursor and the health bar and i was like that's fucking in-game footage like that every once in a while a game like that'll surprise me where like they did that on purpose you're you know you thought it was a cutscene. they backed up and you're fucking actually playing the game um so every once in a while they do throw a curveball in there but i'm excited though may 7th that's not too far away i think that's next week let me see what the exact date that is uh, why did my calendar be stupid be dumb. may 7th it's next thursday so a week from now um i work but if uh we'll talk about it yeah it'll hit just in time for us to uh stream about it and talk right. about anyway. it yeah, we'll Huzzah. Do so if you you, you don't could. have to watch it we'll tell you what happened all right <laughs> shit uh does anybody else, uh, anything else they have to add any are there any games you would hope for like i don't know exactly the air quote game xbox game studios i don't know like we talked about senua um forza i don't know what games exactly go under that umbrella i don't know they own um, so many like indie exactly. companies so i don't really know yeah, especially indie developers. That's a you know what i know Battletoads. They announced that so long ago. That was <laughs> rare. Or and Psychonauts. Ooh. Oh, yeah, the new Psychonauts. That'd be cool. Yeah. So we'll see. Uh, but yeah, next week, again, it comes out next Thursday, 8 o'clock uh, in Demonin. Or 11 o'clock here, 8 o'clock there. Uh, but we're obviously going to talk about it next Thursday, so we're excited. Um, on to the next bit of news. Uh, ah. This is just a little bit of a rumor mill, but I wanted to talk about it, especially because even though I didn't beat it, I loved it. I know Justin beat this game. Uh, Zero Dawn. Aloy. Game. Aloy, if you will. That's your favorite ever of all time. That's probably one of my favorite story-driven okay. single-player games. We'll, we'll talk about how I felt about it in a second. Um, but there, okay, oh, yeah. there, there's a rumor, a little bit, not too much though. Uh, there's a rumor now that they want, they're already in the development of the second one. Like we've, they've posted a bunch of job listings and stuff. This is Guerrilla Games that I'm talking about. Um, but they're now apparently planning, air quotes, a trilogy for this series, um, which it's mainly rumors. Like there's not like a clear cut list uh, of things, but I would, the story was really cool for what I played of it. Uh, so I'm excited. I, I will say it's not um, unlikely. That, that studio did Killzone, and that was the only games they made. Killzone 1 to Killzone Shadowfall when the PS4 launched. So yeah. doing Horizon basically near the end of the PS4, having the next one be a launch game or shortly after launch would fall under their their tree of you know possibility because it's kind of how they rule. Yeah. Brandon, did you play this game? Uh, yes. I couldn't remember. Yeah, I thought you it was did. probably yeah. it was well, it's not probably it was the only PlayStation Four game that I played until I bought one because yeah. I just played it on Phil's a whole bunch. But yeah, I thought it was great. I mean, the time trials like it was it, for me it had the same appeal that Diablo had. I just wanted to see how fast I could kill monsters that had like an insane amount of health or that were like really difficult. I th I think it would be a really entertaining speed run. It's kind of always kind of thought. Yeah, I love the game. I love the story. The thing for me about it, um, and I won't go too long into it, but I get bored of games when there's nothing else to do besides the main story. Is that mm -hmm. weird? So like, I unlocked all the monsters. I knew how to fight and beat them pretty easily. I had a decent amount of main story left because I did a ton of side quests, and then I get bored, and I'm just like, I don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's kind of where I fell into this game. I love the story. I wanted to know about the story, but I, I won. And we, you have to agree with this. Fighting people in this game was stupid. As hell. Oh, yeah. I'm, it well, was so clunky. They just one-shot. It was clunky. Yeah, oh, it was just clunky. I mean, I, I, I went about it, it like a Metal Gear Solid. People. Yeah, they were, they were dumb easy. I went, I went about it like a Metal Gear Solid game. I was just trying to, like, hide in bushes and snipe people with my bow. Like, I didn't, I yeah. didn't do the melee tree at all on my talent stuff. Yeah, I it would, didn't do that either. They just felt forced. And I they did happened a couple her. times, and that annoyed me. Um, but hopefully, there's just more to do because it was a big world. It just I felt like there wasn't that much to do. Like I felt myself just hopping on one of those mechanical horses and just yeeting to the objective. It was a beautiful open world, though. It was well done. 
and it looks great. It just, it just there wasn't that much to do. Like I, I had like the same armor almost the entire time. I had the little mods and stuff every once in a while. I'd change on my like weapons, but and I love what they did with bone arrow. Bone arrows are awesome. To, they feel so fun to play with, like in games. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the bows are fantastic. Um, it, I think the second one's gonna be like a whole, like two hundred percent times better though. Oh yeah. What were we saying, Phil? I, I just uh, like having the same armor, like. I'm pretty sure I got the top armor, armor really, really quickly in that game. Um, the only thing I was ever trying to do was upgrade like the weapons that I could, but yeah, mm -hmm. didn't upgrade. I'm I'm a story guy, so I kind of fell in the story and all the side stuff. I you know do a side quest here, a side quest there, because at some points you would have like options um, to like yeah. save someone's life or let them die. So that was yeah. kind of cool. And those are the things I like when you get your own choice and then like seeing the person later on. Um, but yeah, so that was, you know, this was their, they were moving from a first person shooter, you know, action game that was an open world to an open world third person action game with very unique uh, mechanics. So now that they have that perfected and they show, they've shown that it works, I don't see them not, you know, just making that 200 percent bigger yeah because the game's already like they're 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 the groundwork's already done so now they just have to increase the things amount to the things to do and the like not abilities but just more stuff and i'd yeah. be like cool yeah so i think a, way more i was gonna say a longer a longer version of the hunter's lodge would be way fun because i had mm -hmm. a, i had a super fun time doing the hunter's lodge because i had like a, a lot of really really unique like ways that they made you kill and things like that i think a lot of that stuff could be embellished on like a whole like secondary gameplay just of hunting stuff like you do on on hitman where you have all of the the special missions where it's not campaign driven you're just trying to kill certain i'll just say does anyone actually play hitman the worst way it's supposed to be played like mm. i don't i just kill everybody and, <laughs> and then <laughs> kill the last person I or you or you do that oh, they're so fun like you do that janky know, it's man. like like you try so hard to fucking like do be stealthy, and then finally there's like her, the person you gotta kill, like two bodyguards, and you like clunkily fuck them up, and then just go shit, <laughs> and then run that. I fucking love it. That shit's hilarious. So um, I was looking um to answer Brandon from all of our questions earlier. So apparently people have like kind of digging at Assassin's Creed, and they're trying to figure mm -hmm. out the time frame. People are kind of rough putting it around the ninth century because that is apparently a Roman. Even though you're in England, but it's during the Holy Roman Empire when they're going around like conquering stuff. So apparently they're making, people are saying this might be during Charlemagne's conquest of Europe under the Roman Empire in the ninth century. This is everybody's time frame guess currently right now. Right, I mean, that was exactly what I was thinking. That was like, you know, just due to my <laughs> research and my just natural oh, intelligence. So it's, uh, obviously, Brain there was Charlemagne. This guy got a mohawk, he's Roman. <laughs> right, I was like. I'm, I'm excited, and I, I agree with what Phil said. If I can catch uh, whatever the 300 version of Assassin's Creed was uh, for like 15 bucks, I'll probably cop it and try it. Um, they, they had the Sparta kick. They knew what the yeah. fuck they were doing. Mm -hmm. um, but alright, let's get it popping here. Uh, right, Last of Us 2, Ghost of Tsushima, let's get it. Release dates, switching it up. Um, it's crazy how uh, a leak makes a game release really quickly. Um, so, <laughs> Last of Us, yeah. Last of Us, which was indefinitely d delayed, uh, mm -hmm. immediately got pushed to June 19th, uh, which is a Friday. I'm excited. So I'm gonna try to beat the first one before oh, this. God. I'm gonna try, motherfucker, <laughs> alright? <laughs> <laughs> I probably you didn't won't. play through that game when it came out like I did. I had a PS3 for the Blu-ray player. Never fucking cared about any of the games. Uh, sorry, um, but I want to, so I'm gonna try. Uh, but more importantly for me, I, it did push Ghost of Tsushima back. That was scheduled for June 27th, I believe. Uh, it is now yeah, scheduled was, for July 20 cool, yeah. or July 17th, mm. um, which makes sense. You don't want two of your biggest games of the year to come out like within a week. Um, and now they come out within a month. So it's not like you're waiting forever, but I was more excited for Ghosts mm -hmm. than Last of Us because Ghosts is more of my type of. Just gonna end up getting both anyway. I'm just gonna throw money. Yeah, I am gonna buy them both. I, you know, I mean, it's a good. I have Ghosts of Tsushima pre-ordered, the special edition. Did you get, did you get the masks? I... Did you get the, the masks? No, no, you? no. Cheap bastard. That one was like. <laughs> it's like don't flex. Bucks. Don't flex then. No, I pre-ordered it, but you pre-ordered the. I, I... 
<laughs> He's like, man, fuck you. He said, I just want that case on my shelf. I just want that case. That's all I care about. Uh, it's fine, Phil. But yeah, uh, I'm excited. Which ones are you guys more excited about? Uh, def definitely Ghost. I mean, The Last of Us. I like watching playthroughs of it, but that type of game has never really appealed to me. Ghost of Tsushima really kind of sounds like a kind of like a God of War type game, action adventure where you're just kind of like hack and slash, but it's not. You can't just bully your way through the game. So I'm I'm pretty hyped for it. Yeah. And that trailer you was super sexy. Can't bully your way and God of War. No. Yeah, I'm definitely Justin going for Phil? ghosts. Going for ghosts. Ghost. Okay. I don't know if you heard Phil. I said which one are you more excited for? We all say mm, ghosts. Mm, mm, mm. So you can be the minority or join us. <laughs> ghosts. That's hard. Because I love the last of us story. Like So it's treason then. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima is probably gonna be more just overly fun, something that's really going to pull me in. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, uh, Naughty Dog does a great job, and I love their stories, but Ghost is probably just going to get that. Is you know the the samurai whole thing is just cool as hell. You can't really pass that up. Yeah, mm -hmm. cool. Um, as we joked about earlier, unfortunately, um, don't Google Last of Us for a while until it comes out. Really, uh, yeah. they did have a big amount of leaks. I didn't obviously look into it myself. I don't want to get spoiled either. But a lot of people think it's based on crunch. Uh, Naughty Dog has not been, um, has not not been known for crunch, basically. Um, mm -hmm. When their game, you know, we all know what crunch is. It's been a big thing lately in the gaming industry as a whole. You know, when I'll be, there's a couple months left for a game, motherfuckers work forever. They don't work, they sleep. work 12 hour days. They literally they, sleep at the studio. Yeah, they mm -hmm. don't get, they don't, they work weekends, they look long hours. Um, and it sucks. And a lot of people think that this leak was due to a, gr a disgruntled employee. It was just like, you know what? Yeet. Um, all that stuff got taken down. Sony called up their lawyers real quick and they went ham on the internet. Uh, but if, once it's out there, it's out there. But yeah, um, I don't think there's any videos anymore, uh, but the knowledge is out there. So if you Google specific things, you will probably get spoiled. So just avoid Googling Last of Us uh, for a little bit. But, um, you know, shout out to that guy for getting the game to come out. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> I, I mean, I feel bad. I mean, I, most people that really love the game, there's no way you got spoiled unless you have like an a-hole friend or all like Facebook that's like, what? Blank died. What? Like, you know, and then I just have the question of why are you on Facebook? Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> but yeah, just don't don't search around it for a while. Um, that's all I got for that topic. Do you guys have anything you want to add or anything? I don't. I don't really care enough to. Okay. Yeah. As far as crunch is concerned, like take as long as you want to make a game as long as it's good make your game take as long as you need the yeah. only thing i would say for developers and I, let me pause that's not develop this isn't the no it's all publisher fault. it's all publisher. Was, exactly exactly so when when the game gets dropped at e3 or whatever it gets released it gets a date those people need to check themselves because that's what makes people upset where you see an e3 game they're like elder scrolls 15 and then it's like five fucking years and you're like well why did you talk about it if you didn't have anything to show and that's where mm -hmm. gamers get upset as long as I don't hear about it, or it's like if I'm like it's in development in the ghost world, cool, bet. But don't give me Elder Scrolls Six like they did two years ago, and it pops on the screen, and there's nothing to show. Yeah, like, yeah I you're mean, working on it, cool. I don't uh, give a fuck. Like, that that just comes down to investors and boards. Like investors yeah. get real real shaky if a studio doesn't have anything to show, and then all of a sudden, you know, they they tank. Like oh, we've had, I mean, they've had studios close because of crunch. I mean, there was just a studio overseas that got sued out the ass because people were working 60, 70 hours and sleeping under their desk for no extra pay, just regular salary. So it's like, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. not enough love for the for the people who make the game and only love for the publishers. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, fuck you, publishers. You dirty bastards. Uh, all right. Call of Duty and their crazy. Oh, no. uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're at it again. So Call of Duty had an update this I past... love this title. I love it. <laughs> Gobbling <laughs> up players' hard drives. Yeah, I mean, it, it is what um, it um, is. Um, they, um, they, um, just, um, they just had a recent update that dropped more stuff. Uh, it was about 10 gigs on PlayStation, 13 on Xbox, and motherfucking 32 on PC. They're like, we don't need to compress anything. Um, Fuck it. 15 on PlayStation, I think. What? I think it was 15 is, on PlayStation, I think. I don't know. Something like 10, 13. That's what the title thinks. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, it might be 15. Yeah, I'm, I'm drunk. It's 15. Um, but still, needless to say, 
we all have played Call of Duty here. It, the, the base game already was like 115 gigs when it came out. Then they dropped Warzone, which was another 9 million gigs um, that you had to have the other game downloaded for. Couldn't be jinky yeah, and just download That's what War blew Warzone. my mind. Yeah. That didn't make any sense. But now, uh, basically, especially on PC, to run this game with all the updates, you need about 200 gigs of hard drive space. Um, the same for console, too. Currently, right a... now, I'm... Yeah, my... Okay. Call of Duty sits at just shy. I mean, just like within single digits of 200 gigs on my PlayStation. Ugh. Yeah, of um, a 500 gigabyte hard drive. That to game put that, is yeah, probably gonna get uninstalled soon. Yeah, I installed it like a month after I bought it. I love the game, but it just doesn't make sense. You have a game like GTA and Red Dead. They're in the hundreds, but they deserve to be in the hundreds. It's a humongous open world that a game has to load in and. Be there the entire time like render times especially on like red dead aren't that bad gta can have issues if you're driving like a thousand miles an hour through the street and then it glitches a little bit but like this game has a very sl slow story like it's not big and it has like 20 maps uh right am i crazy and it has no, warzone now yeah it's just <laughs> to dictate 200 gigs though is like yeah, optimize your shit so like on the screen that's the division which had load problems as well not i mean call of duty doesn't have nearly as many load issues but it was like mm -hmm. i think the division was 80 gigs 85 gigs yeah. and then that's the gta map so warzone's definitely not as big as the um division map there's no effing way that warzone is as big yeah. as the division and then you could pit you could fit probably what nine nah, maybe Maybe seven. Seven division maps into GTA. What? What is that GTA 5? Mm hmm I haven't played it in so long. Yeah, because there's a whole other section above right. that map. And 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 call in I'm sorry, GTA, it takes a couple minutes to boot up when you first turn it on. It, it you know, not a lot. Not like you're not sitting there for you're not, you know, going to make a steak. <laughs> it's like a couple minutes <laughs> for how big that map is, and, and that deserves the hundred gigs. Like just yeah. optimize your fucking game. Like that's gonna make people not like, Call of Duty Ghosts was 50 gigs, and that was, like, five years ago. It's yeah. just like, bro, like, people aren't going to buy your game or keep playing if they have to have that much space on their hard drive. I, I could understand, in Call of Duty's point, if you could go in every building, you could get in every car, if it was that much data and that much, like... I mean, because you gotta realize, like, if you loaded in a if you loaded in a building the size of like the one that's on the screen right now, that glass one, and you could go on every floor, there were chairs, books, screens, all that stuff on every single desk and computer, like, then that would be insane, and I would respect that, and um, it would, the gameplay would probably be a lot better. It wouldn't be so narrow, but yeah, that's super strange. Go home, uh, call I mean, drunk. I think it's just that, you know, their target audience is the people that only play Call of Duty and, like, you know, FIFA or Madden, you know? So they have Call of Duty, they get the new the one. juiced up Mountain Dew head ass fucking... They get the new Call of Duty, <laughs> they uninstall the old one because there's no point, you know? all Everybody's just playing the new Call of Duty online and Madden and FIFA. So that's, you know, 200 gigs and then the 20 gigs for the sports game because there's nothing there. You're playing a sport. I play so that's Madden. That's all they have. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, I'm just saying, Madden, <laughs> Madden 20, okay. they didn't even like change the gigs. banner on one of the stadiums. Yeah. The... That's no, the best. Yeah. That was my favorite EA, thing about that. EA's supremely drunk with the last Madden. Shit was super stupid. It makes me upset every time. So they, um, they know they're going to make tons of money from the... I know the people that I would probably call casual gamers. I wouldn't call them hardcore because if you if you don't like, they know Call of Duty. They don't know anything else. They don't care about anything else. It's it's like playing a, a phone game. It's the only thing you play. Yeah, like I'm just saying, they just want your money. Yeah, yeah they, that's and their target. They want the money. They don't care because Shit. the people who are actually <laughs> playing it bites. only play in that game. Yeah. yeah. Um, in related terms, uh, Brandon, throw this dripping ass uh, pink 2080 on the screen. You ready? Uh, sploosh. There, there's not much we need to say about it. It's just a pink 2080. Flex. Good. Flex. Yeah. <laughs> and a 2070, but fuck that. Get a 2080, you peasant. Um, <laughs> I'm still running a 970. <laughs> oh, no. 
but he but he shipped in five crates of games from Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it looks cool. Yeah, that's all I got. I just I thought it looked it. cool, so we're gonna talk about it. Uh, and great news, because this is one of the few games I beat. Days Gone is hard. You gotta yeah, move um, closer to your mic. You're cutting out. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, Days Gone is having a sequel. I, I already used up my juice on the last it's, it's intro. Much. They're going for a sequel. They're looking yeah. for a sequel. This game is just like Zero Dawn for me, but they did it a bit good enough that I cared more about the story and there was more to do. But this game, with a ton of added shit to the cement foundation that they did, is going to be awesome. Because that game was so... The story was fucking awesome. Uh, you actually... Like, I cared like about the main characters. I was like... I, I thought no spoilers uh you know certain people might have died might not have died i don't know but when they those <laughs> things almost happened i was like don't fucking do it because this game does have a lot of cutscenes. if you're not a cutscene head mm. it, like, just there's there's a good like a couple times in those five minutes i can just put my controller down because there are cool. cutscenes. um but the game's awesome so they're working on the second one um i just picked spot. it up sam whitworth's my boy um darth maul the voice of darth maul uh shit's awesome so boom Doomsday oh, in Smallville. <laughs> Somebody save me. Uh, uh, Stadia. Woo -woo. Who has Stadia woo -woo -woo -woo. here? Shout out. Any of uh, y'all paying that like $20 a month? No, it's free to play uh, right now. Yeah. So, is it? I forgot. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's still free. No, it's not because you still have to buy a game. You still have to buy oh, the game. That's the joke. Games. You just get the membership for free. Ah, uh -huh, you fool. Uh -huh. uh, so, Fallen Order is going to be on Stadia uh, later this year. Uh, as long as, uh, as long as, as long with FIFA and Madden, uh, next winter. <laughs> um, and more EA games to follow. So obviously, kind of hooked up with Stadia to drop some games. Um, it's cool because Stadia, the this thought of Stadia is cool. Uh, I mean, I'm not not paying and then paying again. Like if Stadia was like twenty bucks and that was it, then maybe. But. Yeah, if you have a Stadia and you're excited about it, you're gonna get some games here soon, eventually. That's yeah, all I got. That's I exciting. Know. The the whole concept still just confuses me, but we've harped on it so uh, much. If, if if yeah, if you have Stadia, instead of wasting your money to them, you can just pay me directly. Yeah, you could just you could just. Sub, I'll give you just what I'll give you what they and... give you. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> right. Not even yeah, admiration. It's rough. it's rough out here, especially yeah. like for example, like it's the same stream PlayStation now. Uh, my girlfriend got uh, PlayStation now for the week trial to try Resident Evil 4. Uh, I know we're in trying time, so internet is a little bit hard to come by, but, do, you know, it looked so bad. It, like, you could, it was unplayable. Like, there were certain scenes when the dude would talk, and then a second later, the voice would come out. Like, it was just so broken. Um, and I know because so many people, a lot of places are throttling because you know, the internet's getting stressed the fuck out with everybody being home. Um, but that still sucks. Like, it's just it's just not ready yet. Like, unless until everybody gets, like, fucking fiber and, like... The internet trees in the backyard chilling. You got fiber, Phil? I do. I have fiber, yeah. Since what? AT and T does fiber in St. Louis. I've had it since I moved here. And you have that's your flex. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you could. I would have been. I would have pulled the wire out of the wall. Be like, this is right here. Yeah, this is this it. This is it. Yeah. <laughs> it's got all clear cable. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah. If you're a fan of Stadia, you, there's some new games coming. You still gotta fucking pay for them when they get there. Yeah. Um, but. Uh, Destroy All Humans finally got a release date. Hi. Excited. Yeah. I, I barely remember playing this as a kid. I know what? I played it. I just don't remember. I used to it, fucking play this for oh, hours. Fantastic. You know what game I liked more uh, that's kind of similar? I don't remember what it was. Let me hear you. You don't I remember think it's what it was called, called Destroy. I think it. Hold on. You, know, you don't remember all... what it was called, so it doesn't matter. No, nah, I, I think it's called Destroy All Monsters. Oh, that's. Yeah. It's, but that's like a monster fighting game. Yeah. But it was fun as fuck. It reminds me of that. Like, I don't know. It was like quirky bullshit. Um, but yeah, it was fun. But yeah, so I'm getting sidetracked here. Uh, July 28, 2020. Was that a, was that a movie? <laughs> no, it wasn't the movie. It was the game. It's a game. It's on um, PS2. I have it, actually, for game the PS4. Um, oh, yeah. Game game Q. Fool. Um, oh, it was a Godzilla game. I did play that, too, though. But that's not the game I'm talking about. But... <laughs> Yeah, so fully remastered, um, looks really good. Yeah. July 8th, uh, the main thing I want to make fun of is the uh, <laughs> bonus <laughs> edition. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. No, so, you can't make fun of it. So Look at that can... booty on that backpack. 
The regular game is 60 bucks per usual. But for 149, you can get a, a crypto figurine and keychain and a lithograph and a, a stressed ball. They, they just make this shit up as they mm -hmm. get what they give yeah. out. And then they, they get the wheel. For... They, they got the wheel of collectibles. They just spin that shit. Like, oh, they got a mug. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah. And as you can see, that Brandon has it up here for four hundred dollars. Like that's like five hundred pounds or some shit. Like eight billion pesos. Five hundred pounds. Uh, just being racist. It's like no, not, that's how the money works. Like pesos are like, that's how like money four works. billion. It's like a dollar. Um, yeah, four hundred dollars. You get a statue, which looks cool. A book bag, which it's like two. You're feet. never gonna wear. The yeah. statue's cool, but four hundred dollars. Like like we all mentioned this off stream. There's many collectible sites that for 200 bucks, you can get something just as dope. That's true. Um, it's just $400. That but that should have been, that should have came with the PS4. That should have fucking came with a fucking console. But I saw this coming because Did you? the collector's edition of Darksiders 3 is $400, but it came with four statues. $100? Came with four statues. I don't care. I don't care what it comes with. Four hundred dollars. The fuck? How much were your uh, Star Wars Samurai? Uh, we ain't gonna talk about that right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Most uh, of those are gifts. Actually, uh, I only bought. Well, like, buy one. me this, bitch. Yeah. It's also yeah. nine thousand six hundred and ninety pesos, Josh. <laughs> you dead of a bitch. Um, yeah. So July eighth, twenty eighth, you can get this game as well as the edition here is like sold out like justin was telling me they're already on ebay for a grip yeah 700 yeah. 700 to 800 dollars yeah yeah so it is what it is huzzah uh we're huzzah. in speed run boys we moving bra, quick bra, bra, bra. are we yeah we had a lot of news this week <laughs> we we had a large section of news related things battlefield 5 if you're playing it uh there's one last update this june it's dead it <laughs> Never mind. It, it already died. It, it's gonna uh, die. It's the, this last update. It, it didn't work out too well. Um, I actually never got into this one, but yep. There's one last update. Get it, love it. It's ex it exists. It's a thing. Uh, Trials of Mana. This is a very funny story about um, or Mana. I said Mana. I don't know how you pronounce that. Made up. Term. Trials um, of Mana. That game came out. Was it last week, Phil? I know you know. Yeah, last Friday. Yeah, it came out last Friday. Uh, if you wanted to maybe play the demo before you buy the game, uh, you're a little beat for right now uh, because there was an exploit that allowed you to, to unlock the full game in the demo. So it was removed Oops. for Steam, I should say. Um, it was removed from Steam. Um, it should probably be back in like a week or so, but uh, I mainly just wanted to bring it up because that's crazy. Uh, and hopefully that doesn't ruin demos uh, for future things because I love demos and I think they should exist more. Um, I've definitely, because now it's kind of been replaced with betas. Uh, but there's been definitely a couple games that I've played the beta for, and it was like For Honor was a perfect example. I played the For Honor beta and was like, I was excited to play that game and was gonna buy it. I played the beta and I was like, fuck, this game's stupid. Right. But then uh, they have so saving just... graces where it's like you play the Predator beta and then you mm -hmm. get on Reddit and you, you know, blast them. Yeah. That was um, Yeah, so if you wanted to play that demo, you're beat for a little bit. Uh, Apex um, armor event starts May 12th. Uh, if you're excited for that, it seems pretty cool. You're basically just landing in on armor with armor. I think they changed the map a little bit too. Mm. Uh, but you, for a week, you get white armor. Then the next week, you get blue. The next week, purple. Then the next. Oh Evo. no! Um, <laughs> oh no! That's just a really cool event, and I honestly think that might stay. Like people love it enough. That's cool. Like you just load it, land on armor. You should land with white armor, in my opinion. Um, but we'll see. So you just don't get melted by the dude that picks up the better gun right away. Uh, but yeah. And so we did talk about this. Wait, do we have opinions on that? Anybody? No, I'm game. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, um, we did talk about this last week. Uh, Nintendo did reportedly had some hacks, and we were suggesting to get the two-step verification. Uh, well, it did. Nintendo did like reach out and say 160,000 people were uh, accounts were breached. Um, so if you have a Nintendo Switch or a Wii U or something. Um, just or a Nintendo account in general, just make sure you set up two-step verification. It's very, very. Um, I myself was was yeeted on a couple months ago for my PlayStation Store. I didn't realize I didn't have two-step on there, and they straight bought like four games. Uh, I found them and killed them, so it's okay. <laughs> um, but it, it happens, to everybody. So set up two-step verification. It's super simple. Don't get 
don't get hacked. Um, last but not least here, uh, I'm probably going to segue to you, Phil, for a little bit of this, uh, but the the uh, GameStop performance live event thing, they have a bunch of eSport related stuff on oh, their pages so, now. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, you, you it's just a new piece of GameStop is going to be eSports oriented. Uh, oriented in genre. So, like, from what I read about it, it's just like you can go in and like buy guides from pros and they'll do like videos with pro gamers to get tips from them and stuff. You know, this is where they're going to put because I know for like a while and when I first saw it, GameStop has been doing like, you know, the, the gaming mice and keyboard, even though they're not, you know, GameStops aren't big on PC games because like they yeah. don't even sell physical PC games anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, oh, they're actually doing that. So this is just going to be more of that. That's an online spot where you can go get those keyboards and mice, but then also see all the news and updates from esports and get guides and nice. such. So this is part of their, you know, full thing, not just like a event or something. It's going to be there oh. all the time. Yeah. So GameStop trying to get into the PC scene, which the more you say that, the more I, that does blow my mind that like you can't go to a GameStop. You can get a fucking like Kingdom Hearts plush fucking pillow. But if you're like, hey, I want to get a gaming PC, they're like, uh, they're like this is GameStop. They're like, well, <laughs> they can give you uh, the uh, uh, keyboard, the mouse and the headset. That's it. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's just really weird to me. You'd think they would one sell pre-builds to pre sell parts to build your own fucking thing. Like that would just make sense, like to stock I the market. Pre builds, I would understand more than like parts. Not like hardcore parts, but like graphics cards, like yeah. basic ass graphics cards. Like, how hard is it to? Not everyone's walking in buying twenty eighties all day. They can stock one or two <laughs> peasants, mm -hmm. right? You know what I mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, like get rid of your fucking. Um, what are those fucking dumbass toys with the heads that everyone collects? Pops. Oh, Funko Pops. Yeah. Get rid of your Funko Pop wall and fucking put some PC shit on. Justin, I'm sorry. I know you just got so salty. You're like, what, bitch? I got my three in the box right here. I don't care. Uh, but bet that's all we got. Speed run over. That's a wrap. It's done. Game's that's coming so out right. this week. Boom. Mm. Let's do it. Uh, we did see that. We mentioned it in a different episode that uh, Reggie is part of GameStop's executive. Uh, yes. He's on the board of directors. Yeah, so he's taking that pay cut right now. He's a little salty. Um, <laughs> but yeah so games this week huzzah, huzzah. Azure, Str Azure Strike Gun Vault Striker Pack for the PS4 <laughs> uh, April came out this Tuesday uh, Gears Tactics is probably the most game I'm excited about it came out on PC uh, the 28th which is interesting it didn't come out on Xbox but it is kind of a hard game to do on console yeah. uh, The Inner Friend which sounds like something if you have Oh. oh no. <laughs> well, for everybody watching my part of the stuff, uh, Discord just took a shit. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, Discord biggity broke. Was bro. everybody it having technical difficulties, or was it just yeah. me? Like, I no, yeah, really everybody was. Josh, <laughs> Josh stuck like this. He was like, <laughs> yeah, this, this Discord just went psychotic. Yeah, that was fucked up. All right, all right, we back. Yeah, let's get this out while it's alive here. What did What's I? Say? Uh, inner friends. We were just talking. Yeah, about. you were at inner friends. Okay. You said something. I thought you were making a joke because you were like inner friends. That's for people who have don't have. Friends. And then, yeah, I thought you were going to say, don't yeah. have any friends. and No. All right, cool. So my next joke was what I need to do soon. Uh, the game moving out uh, comes out for <laughs> PC, PS4, Xbox, and Switch. Um, it came out Tuesday. Uh, PUBG Season 7, if you're still playing that horrendous shit, uh, came out it, this week uh, for PC, uh, PS4, and Xbox. Remnant from the Ashes, uh, the DLC for that is out the 28th. Soccer Wars also came out the 28th. Uh, Dread Nautical, which has a cool name, uh, came out the 29th, which was yesterday. Uh, G Lock Air Battle, there's some cool sounding games, came out on the Switch uh, today. You got Street of Rage uh, out on all consoles uh, and PC on the 30th, which is today. And tomorrow you got Arcade Spirits, uh, comes out tomorrow. Uh, so if you're into those things, 
Um, bing, bang, boom. Are we FM canning or just listing things we like I this know, week? I'm, I mean, the I'm only... only yeah. Like yeah, there's like one well, I'd be interested in. All right, let's go in a quick line. Justin, me, uh, the names are messed up. So I know, the names swapped again. Justin, me, Phil, Brandon. What are you excited about, uh, Justin? Gears Tactics looks fun just because I'm a big X... I like XCOM. Even I hate XCOM. I love XCOM. Yeah, you hate I to love, love XCOM. XCOM. <laughs> and, um... Where'd it go? I lost it that quick. Dreadnautical. That looks really cool. It's like a, um... It's a turn-based RPG like tactical games it's got like roguelike elements to it so it looks cool it's got really cool i like the like gameplay art style like cartoony ish kind of look to it, it looks cool have to, we have to check that out that does look interesting very interesting uh, i'm just like justin gears tactics um you love to hate xcom like a motherfucker um mm -hmm. I, what I didn't realize, I watched some gameplay of it the other day. It has, like, full Gears cutscenes and shit, like, story. Mm. Like, it lo it looks like you're just playing Gears, like, on your Xbox. Like, when the cutscenes hit and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited for that. That's it on this list of games. Philly? We can't hear you. Hey, cool, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Uh, uh, for me, yeah, and Gears Tactics looks great. I love XCOM. Those games are fun. I need to sit down and and play through the second one fully. Um, then also Streets of Rage 4. Uh, because they even have, like, the retro look to it. It's part of the game. You can play it with their new art style and stuff, but then you can just set it to the classic look, which I think is cool. Classic. Classic. Brandon. Yup, yup, yup. I think really out of this, I'm really only interested in spe Streets of Rage. Like, I'm not a big RTS dude. I haven't played one since like Warcraft 3, so Gears Tactics doesn't really... I mean, it's it's probably going to be the exact same setup as Halo Wars, so I'm super not into it. No, no it's, it's like XCOM. It's, it's, yeah, so it's they're top different. down. So it's top down where you click and it's like move based? You control yeah. a single person, not like mm. an army. Yeah. Well, you might, people. you probably, yeah, you'll probably control. I haven't Between seen like all the stuff people. on Gears Tactics. Yeah, like a little squad. You'll move them to cover, do your fights. You have so many like point action points to do your stuff, and then the enemy goes. Mm. And then you, you know. Yeah. Nah. Fuck that. Be. Uh, I'm gonna it's just fun. beat people up on the streets of rage. I think yeah, those those were super fun back in the day. So I'm. What's out today? Definitely into it. Get it. All right, so we do have a cheat code from the game Downforce on PS2. Um, it makes you quite good. <laughs> wow, thanks. I was, I was saying, he is I'm under the currently he is under the slot of Phil, so I guess it does make sense. All right, but yeah, so <laughs> it's Downforce on the PS2. It's to get invincibility at the main menu. You'll press L1, triangle R1, triangle down down circle. You know, this way you can just kind of experience the game and not have to worry because, you know, this is back before games were super, super easy to play through. Don't have to worry about the grinding of anything. When it suggests, it's like, hey, hey, buddy, you're playing yeah. on medium. <laughs> I, want, I think you should go Take it down a bit. So, so I'm, playing, I'm playing the trailer right now on screen. The look how Shrek? big, what the look how big this dude's face is inside this I helmet. That was Shrek. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> once told me. <laughs> it, That's terrifying. That is so yeah. terrifying. I've never right, even seen this game. This is crazy, though. Yeah, we'll have it on the screen while we talk about what we playing this week, which is probably oh, yeah. about to be the same as last week for me. Uh, we'll it? go in order again. Justin, me, Brandon. Justin, me, Phil, Brandon. Number one. <laughs> You're number one. Uh, what we've been playing? We've been playing Siege. We've been playing Obi Watch, and uh, Star Citizen just had the new update, so I've been back into that grind. Boy, boy, I I see you playing Sea of Thieves. Don't you stunt? You guys won't touch it, so. Exposed. Yeah, well, I just reinstalled it. Exposed. Just reinstalled it. I'm sorry okay, to hear that for your hard drive. Is it a lot of space? No, not at all. No, it's just like tainted. 50? It's gold. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well just be making duplicates of your recycle bin. 
Yeah, I'm currently as well playing Siege and Overwatch with Brandon for the most part. Um, my single player games are, I'm, I'm gonna beat Resident Evil 3 eventually when I pick it up again. I just haven't played it since last time I talked about it. I'm still just playing Final Fantasy 7. That game's long. It, Final Fantasy 7 is awesome. It's super long. It's honestly, I might start to argue too long. Like some parts that were in the game before that were like literally five minutes are like four fucking hours. <laughs> I still, lo I'm loving it though. Um, I'm grinding. Uh, hopefully I can have it done in a weekend or two so I can get on um, Last of Us 1. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll it's see. great. And you can get the uh, Definitive Edition on PS4. So. I have it already, yeah. That's how I've been playing it. That's how you've you been playing it? <laughs> yeah. I, I... Just because you booted it up doesn't really mean you played it. <laughs> yeah. Shut the fuck up. All right, Phil, what are you playing, I, dog? I've been playing... Pillars of Eternity 2. Nope, I literally have only been playing Pillars of Eternity 2. I've I'm, been playing, uh... I'm just so into it. <laughs> like, okay, I, I popped on Torchlight 2 again recently. Mm -hmm. um, but that was like for two hours tops. Most of my time has been Pillars of, of Eternity 2. Played some Baldur's Sorry. Gate for the How Retro Game of the it? Week, Episode 3. Yeah, but, yeah. Somewhere in the world. <laughs> Alright, Brandon. Brandon, what you got? Everybody knows here <laughs> that I've been just running Greater Rifts in Diablo. I just hit like Greater Rift 95. If I can get to 130, top 1000 Barbarian. Just saying. Pretty hype. <laughs> the flex this week is real. Yeah, it is real. Flex. You know, top 1000. Yeah. Alright, cool. You know, here playing Downforce. <laughs> Next week, guys, um, <laughs> don't forget. Microsoft event, we'll tell yep. you everything. You yeah, don't watch, watch yourself. It. Just Google or us. You can just, yeah, just Google us. Um, we'll begin 5:30. We stream. Phil has episodes coming out weekly. We got Amazon. Amazon. We have an <laughs> anime episode coming out next week. Listen, New we got some Amazon yeah. bitches coming out. Yeah. Now we gotta pay Jeff nah. Bezos. I gotta go. I gotta go put some money down on his fucking GoFundMe. He's listening on Justin's Echo thing. He's like, hmm, "We got a what, motherfucker?" Uh, but no, we we got an anime episode coming out next week. Phil always has episodes drop every week, pretty much. Yep. Um, like us, subscribe to us, watch it. All the links of all the things will be in the description below. Subscribe to us even um, if you don't like us. Yeah, and, and you can talk shit. Just be be a troll. Yeah, troll. I, I will say what uh, one thing. I always give my shout out to the local game shop, Grumpy Bob's. Absolutely. Always do that. Another I thing, know it... I don't know if I've said this on the podcast yet, but I'm a huge D and D fan, as you oh. can see right here. I DM from this chair um, <laughs> with some buddies online, but that gets me to my point. Um, what the guys at Wizards of the Coast that own Dungeons and Dragons is every day of the week they put out free content for you to pick up. So it could be a full adventure, rules, stuff like that. You can go just dungeonsanddragons.com slash remote and you can sploosh, pick that up. Sploosh, sploosh, sploosh. It is, they're all limited times though. So like what they put out today mm. is only till May 2nd, but it's literally free content. You mean I have like two days keep... left, Phil? Yeah, but you get to keep it forever. So go now. Forever? After you subscribe yeah, to this. Yeah, there cool. be PlayStation. Like, like, subscribe, comment, uh, talk about anything we talk about this week. Uh, give us your yep. input on the uh, Vikings, Assassin's Creed. If you're excited for this Xbox thing, uh, we want to hear about it below. Yup, below us. Later. Thanks for watching.